Kroll, the detective agency, came out with a, a thing the other day saying 60%, 60%, 6 out of 10 of all fraud is insider fraud. In other words, if it's going to be committed in this bank, the person may be in this room. He said among the companies, Kroll said among the companies that lost more than 10% of revenues to information-based fraud, only 42%, only 42% had anti-fraud measures in place. That says to me that 58% didn't. Are they crazy? I mean, I, I don't get it. Now, the Kroll Agency was talking about companies that lose 10% of their revenue to fraud. You want to know something shocking? The average company in this country? 5%. That's the average. 5% is lost to fraud. I don't know what your turnover is, but if you want to give me two and a half, I'll let you have the other two and a half. <laughs> it's amazing the amounts of money involved. I, you would think that 58% of those companies would care. Now, there's somebody called Donald Cressy who came up with something wonderful called the Fraud Triangle, which basically says there are three requirements necessary for fraud to take place. It comes down to what you see on programs like Law and Order, right? <coughs> means, method, and opportunity. That fraud will happen when there is someone has the means, has the method, and the opportunity to commit fraud. I believe there are two other things that Cressy left out. I think one of them has to do with capability. He may have the means, method, and opportunity, but you have to be capable of committing a crime. And not everybody is capable. You also, and I would say that the fifth thing, that you also need a concept of tomorrow. It's a very important concept because tomorrow represents consequences. I doubt if you're going to put your hand in the till if you know you're going to get caught tomorrow. But the average fraud takes 18 to 27 months to detect. You can do a lot of damage in 18 to 27 months. You can also be well installed in your villa in Spain in 18 to 27 months. So you may actually get away with it if you try it because you're denying tomorrow. One of the ways that fraudsters get caught is that they're stupid. They make stupid mistakes. The amateur fraudsters. There was a story of a bank teller up in Scotland. I think it was RBS, but don't quote me. Certainly RBS is not quoting me. And he was doing, like Eddie Murphy in one of those movies, he was lifting pennies out of accounts and had been doing it for years. I forget what the movie was. Um, doesn't matter. But he, he, would, he, would take, he would round everything off and take the pennies. And this guy was, from everybody's personal account, was just rounding things off and taking pennies and accumulated a huge staff over 30 years of being a bank manager. And one day he retired, and they gave him a handshake and a watch and a free pizza coupon or whatever they give people. It's for scotch, I guess, this is Scotland, right? And he left the country. And one day somebody said, uh, whatever happened to Fred? He said, oh, Fred, God, he's living, I said, you know, I bumped into Fred on the Costa del Sol, and, and he's got this huge property. It's fantastic. He's having a great life. Somebody said he was a bank manager. He was earning 62 grand a year. How did he get a huge property? Oh, yeah, he's got servants, and he's got a yacht, and he's got this, and they got, what? And Fred is now doing 10 to 15 at some, at Her Majesty's pleasure somewhere in Scotland, right? Because he took the money and he spent it. Fool. Should have just kept it and spent it a little bit at a time. Fred would still be living in Spain. Whistleblowers are a great way of detecting fraud. And you would be shocked, because I, I speak to a lot of companies where companies say, oh, no, we don't have a whistleblower program because we don't want everybody spying on everybody else. That's not what a whistleblower program is. It's every employee protecting the company, finding a Fred someplace with his big villa and no income to support it. And the whistleblower program always produces better results. If you look at the statistics of whistleblowers, they always produce better results than external audit. Price Waterhouse does great work. Whistleblower programs beat them. There was a, a wonderful statistic that came down that I saw that management review, management review will detect 15% of all frauds. That's great. Internal audit will detect 14% of all frauds. Dumb blind luck will prevent 15% of all frauds. Whistleblower programs, a tip, somebody saying, Fred's living awfully big. 40%. You can't beat the numbers. I'm sorry. The numbers don't lie. 